Good morning and welcome to Master Trader, where you can learn to use simple market and stock analysis to make money investing and trading. I'm Greg Capra. We're going to take a look at where the broader markets are at and the probability of where they're going to go this week. So in the four charts above, these are the broader market indices that we review each week and each day. And on the weekends, we review these with our subscribers to our advisory letter with a very in-depth and extensive review of the broader markets. What we see happening here is that the S&Ps and the Qs are beginning what might be an acceleration to the upside. And you say, well, haven't they been accelerating already, Greg? Uh, actually, no. They've actually been moving up in a rather controlled way. And the way we define that at Master Traders by looking at the arrangement of price bars in addition to the size of them. And what you see here is that the majority of bars are relatively equal in size. Here, the momentum slowed a bit. It picked up again. Note the red bar ignored what we call an RBI. Those red bar being ignored are confirmation of a bullish trend. And then we have this little consolidation and the breakout. So the futures are down here a bit uh, pre-market. Uh, S&Ps are down about eight points, but not a big deal just yet. Now, what the possibility is, is that we get this acceleration move to the upside here. And we'll, now we have a lot of earnings reports coming out this week. And some of the, the big names like Apple and Microsoft, Google, Facebook, uh, they're coming out this week and some later in the latter part of the week. So that's going to be a big influence on, on the markets. That being said, we have a little bit of a breakdown in the transports, and the Russell is just moving up, you know, the way it has most of last year and this year, uh, lagging a bit, then playing catch up, but it's kind of like a grinding move higher. What, what we really want to take note of here is the monthly time frame as we come into the end of the month. And what we see here, especially in the, in the spiders and cues, is that now we've got a wide range bar. And as you can see, markets have been advancing for a while. There was a consolidation here. But at, once you start to see a, a, really wide range bars, and you can see the difference here, we don't have to measure them exactly the size. But when the ranges begin to expand like that, it tells us that we're getting close to the end of an advance. It does not mean necessarily a bear market. We don't have the criteria for that to happen at this time. But when ranges begin to expand, what it tells us is that traders and investors are throwing caution to the wind and they're willing to chase. And when that happens and there's no wall of worry, if you will, you're closer to a retracement or some type of a correction. Now, what we've been going over with subscribers is that our market internals have not aligned yet to give us a sell signal. And that actually helps support prices moving up. We have sentiment at a bearish extreme. We have option traders betting that the market will go higher and it's rare that they ever are right. But they're right this time and they're making money. Uh, historically, they're never right at extremes. So breath is neutral and what we're looking for for a sell signal is for breath to be in alignment with sentiment and then we're going to get some type of reversal signal which we will set up some intermediate term bearish patterns that hasn't happened yet stay tuned and i will let you know when it does good trading everyone